Thanks so much for joining us at 10 o'clock. A Nashville law firm is jumping in on a list of people suing the makers of diabetic drugs like Ozempic. Good evening, I'm Marius Payton. And I'm Tracy Cornett. Lawyers explain to our Sharon Danquit tonight the damage they believe comes with using these drugs. Attorneys here at Bark Durham Injury Law say these companies are not making it clear enough that these drugs can permanently damage your stomach. It is making people really, really sick, and, and I don't think people know. Blair Durham is talking about this. Their diabetes medications people are now using to lose weight. You've seen a hundred drug commercials on television. They all list all these side effects. Well, they underplayed a major uh, sickness. Stomach paralysis is when your stomach muscles are damaged, so it struggles to empty out your food properly. Blair believes drugs like Ozempic, Wagovi, Trulicity, Rebellicis, and Majuro are all causing this. The really scary thing is that the serious issues that you need to get to a hospital for immediately mimic the symptoms of what people that take it have anyway. Stomach aches, nausea, fever, and not having an appetite. He says people think it's nothing, and then when they realize it's stomach paralysis, it's too late. I don't think people know that this is this serious. There are almost 100 lawsuits filed already. Blair says these drugs cost a Nashville man his gallbladder. The FDA has sent out what's called a white paper that talks about these risks. They, they need to at least be aware. Lawyers say some cases can be deadly, so they're fighting for money and better warnings. In Nashville, Sharon Dinkwa, WSMV 4. Tonight, we're hearing from both the Eli Lilly Company, which makes Trulicity and Manjaro, and Novo Nordisk, who makes Wagovi and Ozempic. Eli Lilly says, quote, our FDA-approved labels clearly warn the risks of our medicines, and these risks are communicated to and widely known by health care providers, end quote. And Novo Nordisk says patient safety is our top priority, and Novo Nordisk and we work closely with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to continuously monitor the safety profile of our medicines. You can read their full statements in the WSMB4 News app.